system. And do you have a tradition available? You're researching here, aren't you? Yes, yes. Construction complete. Construction is complete. Search is complete. My we'll lord, it's all one. happening. Ah, yeah, we've got, got oh, Starhold now. Massively. So good. Prove the ship has been found dead. Let's just have another. It's worthwhile just checking on them. So their fleet power is superior. So we need to look at our fleet again and upgrade. Modular it. engineering. We need to try and match those around us. You haven't quite leveled up to level five, sadly. So why don't you uh, we are doing short doing? 157, 436. Okay, so you we need number 279 to reinforce. I think Flubar is just doing what Flubar does. Yes, it is. I'd like us to have more energy. Ah, we've cut the enemy off. So why don't you, while you're doing that, build some mining stations, and I'll be right back. So we can now get energy siphons. Yeah, I thought my empire was big until I saw these guys next to me, and now I feel pretty inadequate. That's always the way with the AI, isn't it? Um, it is. Feeling, they're feeling a little bit like, uh oh. She told me it's fine, I swear. What could possibly go wrong? So Bane and Gall, do you want to explain a little more to my viewers about your channel? We have more people watching now than we did before. You're part of this uh, GB or CGB Alliance. You want to talk about that a little bit? Yeah. So um, CGB Alliance is uh, stands for Corey Gold Bane. Um, Corey is uh, the Corey Loses uh, YouTube channel. Uh, Corey is a mod maker like ourselves. I work with him um, on a mod for Star Wars, uh, which is on Sins of Solar Empire called Star Wars Ascendancy. Um, and yeah, I um, we kind of formed when we when we started doing YouTube and he started doing YouTube because we were both mod makers as well. We kind of started forming this alliance of uh, of YouTube and Discord was pretty new at the time, so we thought it'd be really good if we could bring our communities together to not only help our channels grow together, but also to have a place for like-minded people to hang out and chat um, and really it's been amazing because the community's grown to over a thousand members in very short succession and, and well, about 1400 at this point yeah it's, it's it's still growing now and um it's a place where whether you love star wars or whether you love star trek you can come and, and hang out and you know there's a lot of players of people like solaris right? if you like solaris it's a good place to go because you know um uh, you can you can chill out there and, and enjoy yourself you know so um yeah we've um We've been doing that now for I want to seven say minutes, seven months, eight months. Maybe it's longer yeah, than that. Now. It doesn't feel that way, but um, yeah, really, really just enjoyed working with Corey, and uh, he makes the great mod for Empire at War called um, Imperial Civil War, um, and that is a fantastic. Like, if you haven't played that mod, that is a fantastic mod. Uh, really is. Um, so yeah, we feel really uh, blessed to work with him. And that's it, basically. That's pretty cool. And what type of games do you play on your channel, specifically? I'll let Gold, I'll get, let Gold go over that one, I think, because I just spoke for ages. <laughs> We're pretty eclectic, to be honest with you. I, I mean, primarily we like sci-fi. We've always liked sci-fi, so you find a lot of sci-fi on there. Uh, the channel... I think it was originally started really to show off Star Trek Armada 3 um, while I was working on it. So you'll find a lot of Sins content in general on there. Uh, one of the things I, I worked out fairly early on while I was making content is that I wanted to show off other people's work in Sins as well. Because uh, I think once you work in it, you know that it's quite difficult uh, when it comes to modding. So you think, ah, oh, you know, other people are doing amazing work too. Maybe I should show that off. So that happened, and then we've kind of we've broadened into 
uh, I suppose general sci-fi and a lot of general modding as well. One thing that we haven't done enough of is Stellaris and uh, it's something that I think we've always intended to do more of but uh, neither of us have found the time. Yeah it's been pretty hectic really and um, yeah we're, we're starting to get there now. I mean I, I've done a series recently which I really enjoyed with Stargate mods um, and then obviously Cherry came out and I was like oh you know, and well, and the fact that I got eaten by the scourge kind of helped a little bit. Um, so I'd like to carry that on um, and make that part of our our work. So yeah. But we've always covered mods. We've been a really big like supporter of the modding community in general. So yeah, that's uh, that's awesome. I'm glad uh, you guys were able to explain that. So everybody does know who you are. I think uh, you're definitely way more. Uh, recognizable than I am at this point, so that's good, and well, I'm sure um, most of my viewers for know the benefit that. of our channel. I, I'm not sure if you've already explained it because I did. I did uh, have to walk away from the screen for a couple of moments there. But um, what do you primarily cover on your channel? Well, thanks. Uh, yeah, basically on my channel we do uh, sci-fi games, uh, mostly real-time strategy. So Stellaris, heavily Stellaris. In fact, uh, and I'm probably saying that wrong. It's Stellaris, isn't it? Yeah. I can I can probably never fix it at this point. I've been saying that for like a year and a half. So uh, anyway, so I basically cover that. I have uh, been known for my Imperial mod uh, playthrough. It's basically, it does the cinematic intros. I don't want to say Captain Shack style, but I think that he's one of the people that have made that pretty famous. Mm -hmm. I do them all in After Effects. It's a ton of work, but I, I think it's a better product, so... That's pretty much been my uh, outlet to be known. I'm also branching out now into the Star Wars Empire at War. We play Star Wars Galaxies. Uh, there used to be other things like Star Citizen, but unfortunately there's just not the audience there for Star Citizen at this time because it's not a completed game yet. It's difficult, really isn't it? I think because that. development, uh, while development hasn't stalled, from outward appearances, it looks like it's stalled, and therefore people are very reluctant to throw their viewership behind it because... I mean, people, people think that their time's valuable, of course, so that they're not going to want to uh, watch something that may never play a factor in their lives. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely seeing that, too. I mean, like, I'm, <laughs> I can't pretend I'm not a fanboy because I've spent, like, $2,000 on the game in terms of supporting it, buying ships, and, and being into it. So my passion comes out when I play it, but it may not be contagious for those reasons that you name. So it totally makes sense. Who's the NA guy? This is... Um... Tim, um, who um, is, has his own YouTube channel. This is what Geront's just saying on the, on our chat. Um, and he's just okay. explaining what he does. <laughs> Plus, he has a really cool avatar of a Jedi. Yeah, my, uh, my channel is actually called Intrepid Dawn. So if you guys uh, do check that out at some point, that would be awesome. I totally appreciate it. Yeah, and yeah that we've... will be in the description on our uh, channel when Gold releases his videos, as well as... Indeed, doodly. Well. And uh, Gall and Bane's channel is in the description of this video as well, so you'll be able to see it there. Awesome. I need some more gun batteries in my life. Now the chat's asking me if I'm enemies or rivals with Captain Shack. No, I, I don't think so. It's kind of like I have like 0.001% of his subscribers, so I wouldn't even be like a gnat on the side, right? <laughs> nah, he's cool. It's YouTube isn't like that. I think that it's kind of a misconception. We're not really competing with anybody. Uh, you know, even doing this with GB Gaming and stuff like that, that doesn't necessarily vampire any views from anyone. No, it doesn't. In, in fact, views are synergistic. Uh, if you are good friends with other YouTubers that play similar games or similar styles with you, views are very much synergistic. People, uh, people have got enough time where they might watch one video, um, hear about another YouTuber, and then watch a second video uh, from the other YouTuber. So it's it's not a competition thing. You don't have a finite half an hour every day to watch YouTube videos. As a rule. Um, some people do, I'm sure, but but the simple fact of the matter is, people make time if it's inter if it's content that they're interested <coughs> in, and you hear about it through word of mouth. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. That's why doing things like this is beneficial for both channels. I know that their channel is significantly larger than mine, but I can still expose uh, their channel to an audience that may not have known about them, and they can do the same for me. So it's uh, like I said, it's beneficial for everyone, symbiotic, and 
you know, I hope we can keep up this type of uh, partnership in the future. I don't really think we play with you guys. To be honest with you, we we never really worry about growth. We just kind of enjoy yeah. doing what we do. Like we're not, you know, people often say to us, "Oh, well, you've got quite a big channel." I, I mean, we're okay. We're not compared to like um, someone like uh, Rob and Sh Shaq. Um, you know, we're we're really small, so and we never look at it that way. You know, we're just like well, we just have the people that watch us and you know um who, who enjoy our content we're just normal guys that make computer games primarily and uh and that's always been the case you know yeah absolutely so it's it's not really a competition in that sense and you know i, I don't have any type of animosity towards anyone <laughs> I, I think in this space anyone's success helps us all yes yeah. so that's really the way it works absolutely Right, guys, now we're coming up about a, let's see, one hour and forty minutes. How are you guys feeling? I'm okay. Still going though. strong. Awesome. Yeah, lucky for me because normally I do my live streams at like nine o'clock Eastern. That way I can be sure that even if I have to stay late for work, anything like that, I can come home and work. That's why I usually fall asleep after two hours. But I feel pretty good today, so I'll make it to the end strong. <laughs> I'm gonna hit the two-hour mark running. That's right. Instead of being like, okay, guys, I'll see you next time. <laughs> I'm quite enjoying the playthrough at the moment. I mean, there's, there's, there's not a lot going on for me at the moment. I've just colonized my second planet, but robots take so long to build. So I'm just basically uh, trying to get my stations up, trying to hold off the enemy because I I've, I've, I've just feel really trapped at the moment with this, um, you know, fanatical purifier on one side of me. What I really would like is, uh, I'd like you to come survey this, please. I mean, the nice thing is I can see, guys, where this this dude is, is, is going, and I kind of see all of the choke points to stop him from where I want my territory to go to, because at the end of the day, I don't want to surround him, because that will just make him incredibly... Uh, well, there is a possibility if he didn't expand out anymore, I could surround him eventually. Like if I can hold Marinius and Alamac, that's that's gonna cut him off here. That's just gonna yeah. make him more aggressive. I'm kind of in a cold war over here with my neighbors because I'm setting up a, a war with them. Do you guys see the value of strike craft in 2.0? Have you noticed that at all? Whenever you go to war. I don't think I've used them enough to really have a, a solid opinion at the moment. I think that's something I need to do. Thank you, Michael. I mean, we would love to develop our own RTS, um, you know, but unfortunately, uh, we we all have to try and keep working to pay the bills, and that's that's one of the big problems. <laughs> and that just we ain't got the skills. Let me get some UV lasers now. Only just been able to get the tech for that. I don't know if we still got our, have we got our trade agreement going still. Everybody around me hates me. I'm sad now. <laughs> oh, they didn't. Oh, because we already have one. Mer. So, what's the uh, the best way of making friends uh, with your neighbours? Have you got any advice on that? Sorry, did I did I miss something? Yeah, what's the best way that you could possibly make friends with your neighbours? Uh, uh, I've offered trades before with nothing in return. Like if I had extra minerals, 
I just give them minerals and sometimes they like you. You get a little boost from that. It depends. Like if you look at their actual, how much they like you, there'll be an equation there where it says like a positive or a negative number. Generally Some speaking, things... not a lot over. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, usually if it's bad, the best you can do is usually like a temporary boost by giving them like a, a trade deal and you usually lose like two, meaning you give two out of that every year. So it gives you like a plus 10 boost for a minimum amount of time. <coughs> okay. That's the only thing I've found, unless Bain knows another way. No. All good advice. Gratefully received. I think I'm going to have to start building a bit of a fleet now. Uh, things are kind of coming to a head at this point with uh, the Zaxoid block. And by coming to a head, I mean they've made, ma they've made no aggressive maneuvers, but they're near me and they don't like me very much. Uh, that's enough of a reason for me to go to war. You should definitely go to war. What is it good for? Huh. Huh. Say it again. <laughs> yeah, I'm in the middle of naming all the ships after the viewers, so I'm distracted. Very nice. Construction complete. Well, let's upgrade everything on this planet. I think uh, uh, that's certainly going to help a lot. <laughs> Construction complete. Construction is complete. Good. Keep Olam Prime going. Uh, need more uh, do -do -do minerals. So really, my only choice here, guys, is just to keep going with this this expansion. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way here. But we're going to keep going. We'll keep going for it. What's everybody's resource income looking like at the moment? Um, pretty solid now. So starting to get that kind of rolling uh, boost to my income now. So I'm, I'm running about plus 65 minerals and plus 22 oh, okay. energy. Okie dokie. How about you, Tim? Uh, plus 23 energy, plus 44 minerals, and I'm starving. Okay. I think, um, I think we're about on par. Uh, aside from the starving bit, I'm not starving. Unfortunately, uh, <laughs> but aside from that, we're about on par. It just started. Apparently, we've had a uh, baby boomer period there. <clears throat> I you could ask them politely to calm uh, down. For it. Right, I hadn't planned for this. Tell them that all this intercourse that they're having is very inconvenient. I'm going to have to <laughs> stop my expansion soon and consolidate. I mean, if they take Alamac. Oh my god, no. If we t we can actually we can trap them. We can trap them. That's that would be amazing. Then they can't grow anyone. My worries are over. Like, well they're not, not over. Because they'll just sit there and build up and build up and build up. But you know what I mean? It's there's definitely something to be said there. Interesting. Scan you. Okay. Problem. Let's go with hyperdrive two. Guess where we're going a bit faster. Our fluve is pretty packed in at the moment. What if we give you? Just upgrade you a little bit, lads. Ships upgraded. Antimatter missiles, rail guns. 
I'm Bruh. gonna try and make friends with these guys. Grab the ion thrust. They're wary of me, but that's okay. I still Let's take a really look want to research our ship them. designer, That'd shall be we? Great. Let's uh, remove everything, then auto complete. See what we got. We're going for shields now. Oh, flat batteries. Yes, I'm going to have some of that. We're going to clear you. We're going to auto complete again. Save. And let's take a look at our fleet now. So we're going to need to get some mining stations on the roll. Get that lovely resources going. Well, that's a bit worrying. Is that now that has someone's killed the stuff there? We need to now take that. No, I don't want you, ally, to go that way. Oh, uh, that's fine. Guess it'll be what it'll have to be. Fine. See if you care. It's fine. It's fine. But is it fine? That's the question, isn't it? That remains to be seen. So these are fanatic militarists and materialists. And they're down south. Wow, they're quite big already. Nobody likes my... Makes me very sad. That's because you're small. Found a new empire. A fallen empire. Uh, you garlic protectors. Hmm. They're kind of small. I would have thought they would have been much bigger. Ooh, planetary capital, yeah, we'll take one of those. And they're holy guardians, so I don't know... Are their, uh... <clears throat> activation things the same? Do you know? I have no idea. Just don't do anything unholy. No idea anymore. Okay. Yeah, don't colonize that guy at world right there. I made that mistake. One of my, uh, solo playthroughs. And then every 10 years they came and killed my leader. It made me sad. And then nobody wanted to be the leader, which is horrible. Every 10 years. <laughs> That's just Hello, weird. Sierra. Good to see you on the street. Hope you enjoy watching. Yeah, as soon as they were allowed to uh, declare war against me after the treaty was over, they did it, and then their assassins came in and killed my emperor, and I was sad. Oh my. Yeah, I just got into a cycle. I couldn't couldn't get out of it, so I had to kill that one. I also have a confession to make. As much as I've played this game, I've never actually won it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Honesty I mean, we've, is the best policy. Right, I mean, no, there's been there's been times when I've been like, like I feel like I won, but I'm not going to play another 10 hours of, you know, mop-up work. But I've never got to the point where I was just like, I got the winning screen, unless I was playing one-on-one -on -one against Georgie, who's my cousin. Uh, he doesn't like building fleets for some reason, so he's very easy to beat. Have you guys ever played Star Wars Rebellion from 1998? Uh, I can't remember if I have or not. I'm going to be honest with you. Give me some reminders. I played that game for years and years and years, and I didn't win my first game until like 2010. So that was kind of embarrassing. Oh, so we met right. the Geico Gecko. I'm on my way to taking my third planet now. It's 
See, just because of the way uh, my empire is, it's it's just it takes a while to sort of get more uh, plants. I'm very slow burn as a machine empire in terms of like getting um, more built robots out. Uh, are we? Uh, so I think fleet command would be good. Let's get some fleet upgrades now. I'm pretty much stuck in the holding Sector, pattern. Sector uh, can... zero zero one says, "Oh my god, I spent too many hours in Star Wars Rebellion. Failed a few tests thanks to that game." Well, there you go. You got a fellow kindred spirit there. All right, I actually have a playthrough of that right now on my channel. We do that every Wednesday. Nice. It's kind of fun to do like a retro gaming thing. Agreed. Uh, I meant to ask, uh, if you uh, survey all systems prior to uh, doing the research to reveal particular resource types, do you need to then survey again? No, you'll just find them. As long as they're surveyed, you'll see everything once you unlock them. Or at least that's how it used to be. I don't know if it's changed, but I don't think it has. Okie dokie. Uh, it was worth it. It's worth a try. Be my friend, enig enigmatic observers, fallen empire. That's all I want. I want to be your friend. Just want to be your friend. In my times of need. No? Alright, it was worth a shot. No. I need you, sir, to come survey these as quick as you can. We're going to trap this uh, this empire up here, hopefully. Yeah, I just had to explain to everybody that we're not able to trade with anyone because all we want to do is eat people. I have so many. Should have been a nice guy like me, but no, uh, you guys had to be evil. No, you're not. Uh, you're not wrong. <laughs> System Whereas I'm just awesome, really. I'm an awesome guy. Yeah, the problem is I've got 5,600 energy and like practically no minerals, and I can't trade for them because I want to eat the Geico Gecko thing whenever I click on it. All I can say is pray <laughs> to it. So yeah, working as intended. Priorities. Right. Got a lot of hungry people out here having babies, and we're all starving. So pray. Okay, that is why we got the energy credits. Oh. Right, let's get... Um, right, Olin Prime can now own. take a planetary capital. Get some more That's going to improve worlds. things for us a fair amount, which is great stuff. So we've got a Tundra there. I think we're, we're right taking this... I don't think we need that Tomb World. Oh, it's 10 pops. Tundra, we've got Tomb there. So it's this so Tomb World, so yes, we will go uh, take Torum. Nearly 10, nearly 10. Because we can clear it pretty quickly. So Torum's going to be our next colonization target. Ooh, hello. More research completed. Batharian power plants. Uh, oh, cruisers! Defense fortresses would be good. You know what? Let's not build any more ships for a little bit. Slightly bit. too many ships at the moment. We're going to allow stuff to chill until we get cruisers. Then we're going to build the crap out of them. And things are going to be better. Power plant three. Yeah, I'll take a bit of that. 50 months on that. It's going to be a little while. All right, buddy, what are you doing? Uh, cats we could do with. Oh, look, uh, special resources. Uh, it. Come on. Come on, give me that. Put a ting. Boom. There we go. We've taken that. We've taken a choke point, uh, which is quite nice. Ideally, I'd want to get there as well, but I think that's probably a little bit... Uh, 
Uh, what's going on with you guys? We got a railgun now. Swarm of missiles, yes. A bunch of stuff that we can't do here, sadly. Um, I mean, I suppose I could take that world. System survey complete. It's desert, though. Which isn't much good to us. The habitability is pretty poor, I think. But certainly interesting. Primitive factories. So you guys, how you doing? How's things going? Overall, I'm quite happy with my development at this point. I mean, of course, as everyone does, I want more, but... <laughs> more development is always good. Yeah, you know, I would have to agree with that. They are a fallen empire, the human forerunners. Where were they? These are here, yeah. These are a fallen empire. But they're really enigmatic observers. The only way I'm struggling right now is militarily. I, I, I think my civic development is very good. Um, I'm just working on my third colony. And they're, they're all going as yeah. planned. It's just I can't get a big fleet because I'm not getting very many resources. Uh, what is your fleet power, guys? Uh, only 1.2k. Mine's quite small at the moment. Ships upgraded. What about uh, you guys? Doo -doo -doo. One, yeah, just shy 1.2k. 1.3k, so I think we're all right there. Mine should be bigger, but I need to actually get some naval capacity uh, well, sorted on my stations. I'm That's in the why. middle of researching cruisers, and I'm reluctant to build any more ships until I've got cruisers. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to save up a smidge. Probably shouldn't be telling you all my uh, all my secrets. <laughs> I just met the Order of Zoon. Are they near you? Zoon. Nope, I haven't met them yet. Oh yes, yes I have. South, okay. Yeah, I have met them. Broadly speaking, you're north of me. Have you also met the Zaxoid block? I have not, so let me see if I can trade with them for communication. They're, they're to the right of the Zaxoid block. Sorry, they're to the right of the Order of Zoon on the galactic map. Oh, we are a devouring swarm. We do not engage in diplomacy with other species. We eat them. That's what it says, like when I tried to do a trade deal. So apparently I eat other species and I'll talk to them. Noted. It's just mean, really. It's sad. I didn't I didn't expect it to go this way. And but you got a lot of mouths to feed, and this is what you end up with. Bit of disappointment. Uh, naval capacity, yay! That's what we wanted. We get our fleet bigger that way. Yes. Yeah, so as far as my empire goes, I'm a little bit disappointed with myself. I was neglecting my new planet because I was worried about a war that I wasn't actually in a position to really start. So I was diverting resources to that when I should have still been looking at infrastructure and growth. So because of that, my uh, my empire is a little bit behind where I want it to be. But overall, I think we're still in a position where I can recover. I have first contact with the flube. Hello. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> oh, hello. Ah, I see you. 
<laughs> I wonder what my guy said to you. Oh, he was quite pleasant, actually. He was like, oh, hello. I see you as well. Okay, all train shit here. Do you want to get down this way? Take a look here at Flea Flu. Anything I need to concern myself with? Surface. Oh, this can upgrade. Boom. You upgrade your, upgrade yourself. Olam. Happening with you. With our food infrastructure. And we've spent all of our cash again. Does anyone else have cruisers? Not yet. I'm midway through researching them. Okay. Well, then I'm behind. <laughs> Cruisers it is. I had the option to get him earlier. I chose not to. It was totally his choice. Totally. Just check on our new colony over here, Hoshfeer. Uh, it's almost there. Oh, it's already done. All right, we've got a lot of work that we need. System survey yeah. complete. And mining now. System survey complete. Just clear. There we go. That's all done. Fantastic. Poor quality minerals again. Complete. Consistently getting poor quality minerals on planets. Something here. That, oh, that's the organic stuff. Can we see it? No. What we need to do is... Yeah, it's only a little planet. It's not good. Alien vessels down there. Chi aliens. How's our research going? Still 30 months to go. Now getting 67 minerals a turn. This is doing its thing. It's supposed to be building a mining station. Ah, oh, yet. Yeah. Oh, look at that star, that's beautiful. Good old neutron stars. Right, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Well, I am speed. creating my own machines. More growth speed, thank you. We've got two more guys here. Again, it's a fairly we can small. Slowly point. replace our dudes. Actually, we might uh, let's modify that template. So rather than have, System let's have complete. bulky, but let's remove the consumer goods cost. Yes. Class thirty says this unit seeks refuge. Will you allow it to stay? Yeah, be fine. Yes, so last night oh, we had simulators. No. Today we just eat everybody. See, because I wasn't paying attention, they managed to get out of the box. Damn it. Next time, we're going to have to now figure a different way of containing them. What's in the box? The Hellraiser reference? Not the oh, bees! Well. <laughs> time to continue our expansion in other areas, though. Oh dear, our science ship has gone missing, it seems. Good. That planetary capital's made a big difference. Liking it. Olin, what's going on with you? Clear that tile blocker, let's do it. Yeah, look. 
this. What I'm talking about. And the team here, this unit seeks refuge. Will you allow to stay? Something rad is going to happen here. Again, Katz isn't great. So that the uh, the other two highly habitable planets that are about, they're not great. Hoshfir is, uh, I think. Yeah, overall pretty decent. Hoshfir, nice large I'm planet. Unfortunate. We can't upgrade because we need at least five ops on the planet. Okay. Two. Hello. Why don't we build a Betharian power plant? So, so far, I feel like I've made good progress ah, in, this, planetary uh, administration. in this playthrough. Damn it! For once. Be Glad to hear it. Me. Especially because I think you drew the uh, short end of the stick over there. I, I've got a nasty... I, I, I was trying to box him in, but it's not been possible. Oh my, the Talakur Commonwealth has declared a rivalry. And it had a Tomb World as well. I'm very disappointed in myself. But oh well, such is life. Life goes on. I see. The Talakar Commonwealth doesn't like the fact that I have suddenly blocked them off from every way that they could. I can see why we're rivals now. I found a gateway. I'm a little concerned about that. I've never actually played with... Uh... Jump, uh, jump points. What are they called? Have you guys ever played a game where you had to use the uh, portals? Oh, the wormholes. Right. No, I haven't. No. And it's okay. one of those things. I'm not sure if I want it in my borders or not. Maybe it's better if it's not, so they don't just like appear in my space. Anything that could come through that. Actually, instead of building that, let's cancel that. What we're going to do is we're going to wait and we're going to get all these up to start. We've got one year until cruisers now, guys. So we're going to chill out with that. We're going to wait for them. And as soon as we have them, we're going to pop out a couple of cruisers. We're equivalent to the line. So we can, we can afford to just relax a little bit. Just a little bit for now. Just see about the Visari. Although, let's get this up to a starport. At least we want to have some defensive options. Can we not be friends? In each area. And they've got xenophobia, and they don't overly like hive minds. A lot of avians. I don't think they're going to attack us. We need a new, uh, new robot. We need a brain bot. Those are imperialists. Uh, we haven't got any brain. We can't use brain bots. That's a shame. Take a look at these guys again. All right, they're equivalent in every way to us now. Theocratic. Oh, that they're interested in a non-aggression pact. So. Maybe that's going to be good for us. Yeah, let's go for it. Boom, we've got a non-aggression pact. Uh, let's take a look at trade deals. Maybe a research agreement would be nice. Okay, let's see how many years would be. The maximum? Yeah, let's go for a research agreement. Fantastic. Right, they're trusting us a little bit more. Uh, what does guarantee independence do? No, I'm not doing that. Take a look at Zurich gas. What's changed the station now? Uh, so basically, the station is what you do is each each world you take over, you build a um, take a look at the a station, block. and you have the choice to upgrade oh, the really standard like stations this. in any of these worlds to a larger station, and that station is then what you then upgrade to either become a fortress. Um, or maybe a service yard. So this one here, obviously, I'm upgrading to be more of a, a fortress world. And the same with this one here. And as they grow in size, these stations, you can see they grow bigger. Uh, they'll get more guns, etc., etc. So and you also have the option to build defense platforms around them as well. So they become like linchpins, really, to block your enemies. Because obviously, if you're fighting on the defense against a rather aggressive enemy, the station and your fleet combined can be enough to put any enemy off. So you use them really to hinder the enemy fleets, and uh, they're much they're much better now. Or you use them to become service and repair yards. So you may have stations further in your territory as well. Because I have a quite an aggressive uh, dude here, I've been trying to get some stations up on most of my border points. So I still need one more here, which is uh, which is next. 
which is going up at the moment. I didn't actually realize that they changed this to a uh, sin style. In what way? Where, where you have to traverse across the system to jump to the other side. Yes, they did, which is makes it a lot more interesting for fleet combat as well. Also, if you have the FTL here, right, they can on a station. They can only we have now got cruisers. jump Let's out of the look. way. Let's clear the design of the way bridge. they came in, what which makes here? Really your station is quite quite deadly. Got one of those on. I, I was not aware of that. That's amazing. And then I think if we grab a reactor booster as well. Yeah, look at that. So let's uh, save the design. Yep, I'm going to overwrite it. Right, guys. Okay. So we're now in the position where we can start expanding our fleet. Hmm. Like it. Let's get one, two. I think we, we're almost on the cusp of getting a third cruiser. This is going to be very, very good for our military. I think I'm going to need. Very good. Believe it or not, a uh, another construction ship at this rate. Check that out, guys. Three cruisers in Prud. Loving it. I'm absolutely loving it. That is really going to help our fleet capacity quite a lot. Uh, let's take a look at this fleet. Oh, hello. Uh, yep. Research. Okay. <clears throat> we build a research system in order to acquire the Dirting. So let's actually let's do it. I think you're already building what I need there. Yes, you are. Very good. Let's take a look oh, that at we are going to have to deal with. So they're but equivalent. We're, we're coming up towards the end of the stream now, right, guys? I think we are. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think uh, I think this is it. We're hitting two hours now. Which is uh, actually we are been, indeed. It has been a good, a really good stream. I really, I've got to say, I really enjoyed today. So thank you, uh, thank you for inviting us along. No problem at all. I'd like to do it again. So. What do you guys say? Next week, same time? Sounds good to me. All right, yeah, and the nice reasonable. part about this... Excellent. And the nice part about this is this game plays pretty well if somebody can't make it one week. So we should be able to uh, pick off right where we left off without too much of an issue in terms of the CPU playing for you or whatever Indeed. the case may be. I think the CPU would probably play better than me. <laughs> it's happened to me before. All right, guys, so I appreciate you. Thanks so much for joining, and uh, thanks for coming out tonight, everybody. Yes, indeed, and uh, if you've been watching on GB Gaming, uh, whether that be on stream or indeed on YouTube, make sure you uh, check out the description below and check out uh, Tim Gadan's channel. Uh, it'll be awesome from his perspective, and then you can report back to the girl and tell me exactly how I can smash him. Exactly. And uh, do the same for GB Gaming as well. Check them out on Twitter, and I have a link to their YouTube in the description. Uh, one last thing for my people, we have an Ascension perk that we just unlocked, so I'm going to put that in the comments. Please comment in the video. Let me know what you want to do, so that will be the first thing that we do next week. I appreciate everybody watching. My name is Captain Tarn. I will see you in the verse. Thanks, guys. Ladies and gentlemen. And from me, guys, oh, at oh, GB oh. Gaming, I hope you've enjoyed <laughs> watching me uh, play the Kreenan. I think we're doing well. We've got some new robots under construction now. We've got some brain bots, which I think we're going to slowly replace on all our research stations because they've just set up for that research. And I love that whole how you build still your robots specifically to do the jobs you want them to do. So we're <clears> going to keep on with that. We're going to get our empire of robots specialized and built for each function and uh, again i will see you guys out there next time in the next episode this is bane as always signing out see you later Benny boy see ya